Hiya Cousins, it's Johnny Natrium with the Johnny and Angus show once again. Back with a new level of a new level of awesomeness. Of oh, awesomeness. That, that makes us sound like these, like, you know, these, these kitty audience YouTubers. Mm. Hey guys, fun. welcome back to another level awesome of awesomeness. It's awesome not... sauce right here. It is. It's it's totally. I can't even. Some real even, awesome guys. sauce unfolding right here. Unfolding. It's got. It's a bit too complicated. I think for those. Uh, no, those because that just makes hand. it extra hipstery or something. I don't know. But but look, gang, we're here with another part of uh, Tomb Raider, <laughs> and this time, this time we're. You in just Venice make it old school. <laughs> like, look, gang. <laughs> <laughs> well, I call everyone gang. If I see two people, I'll call them gang. But look, and then, uh, and then you actually, and then it's like actual like, and then it's like you meet black people in the street, and they get like really offended because they think you're calling them like you know, gang hood hoodlums. I well, that's happened to me before. <laughs> and as then, as a white, as and a then white you got guy, stabbed actually, to death, so you were right after all. Yeah, as, Wait, as a to white death. guy, I, I, sorry. Well, that didn't make any sense it. because you're still here, so yeah, whatever. But look, this is Venice, a level that um, I've, I've actually physically been to Venice, so I You've can... You've physically develop. been in this area, like this... Uh, well, not, not this area, but but you know what I'm saying. Like, I can physically, I can verify the accuracy of uh, Lara Croft's uh, adventures in uh, the floating city. <laughs> you know, it's, it's... Because it was chronic. you went on a tour there and they chronicled this whole, all these events here. Well, no, you see, Johnny, uh, you, you told me that we were going to do a Let's Play of this game, so I'm like, you know what, while I'm in Venice, I'll, I'll scout for locations, and then I'll come back, and I'll be able to tell you that, you yeah. know, is this recreation, you know, a good one of Now, that, that is proper old school, you know, that's the way they used to do it. Uh, actually, I, I can tell properly you. go to yeah. the locations, rather than just getting a general Hollywood stereotypical idea of it, and then you know, making that in the game or the movie for that matter. Like it's Max like Payne 1 and of... 2 had like really good depictions of New York, but then yeah. Max Payne 3 was just a really shitty Hollywood depiction of both countries that it was set in, namely Brazil and also New York in a few flashbacks. There was even an article from Hoboken City. Wait, is that a city? I don't think it is, is it? I have no idea. No, no, it's not a... It's in New Jersey, I think, or something. Maybe it is a city in New Jersey. New, New Jersey. New Jersey is a state, right? It's a state, yes. Yes, I dogs. sort of get it confused with just Jersey. Jersey. You know, I thought What's maybe Jersey? maybe Jersey is a state and New Jersey is a city or something like that. You know, that's what I was thinking. Anyway, uh, what did I just Jersey's pick a, up there? I don't know. Um, but you, you know, they, they probably have like a bunch of like twenty-year-old guys sitting around with their untucked uh, flannel t-shirts, uh, sit, sitting around and going, "Now, now, guys, has any of us been to Venice? Do we actually know what it looks like?" And none of them put their hands up. It's like, "Okay, then, That'll fine. Do. Let's go watch. Let's go watch James Bond Moonraker, and we'll have a good idea about what Venice looks like." <laughs> Because that, that film obviously has Venice in it. Well, now, look, you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm say. gonna nip. I'm going to nitpick here and talk, talk about the water in this game because the water looks pathetic. Um, pathetic. Basically, if you couldn't tell, pathetic. See, the top of it is just like flashing like white pixels that make it look like there's ripples. And then underneath, it's just like a colored sort of just, you know, it's just colored. It's lit, so it looks like it's underwater, so to speak. Uh, oh, and, that's and fact, what you mean. But, but, but that's in most underwater stuff though they don't actually make a a real like they don't actually put something there the whole way that is see-through i don't think you know it's it's funny I, I was playing super mario sunshine the other day and it, it like when you when you swim because i in think game, when you're underwater it, it is just an area where the, they just change the lighting yeah, I know that, but I'm just saying, like, you know, in Super Mario Sunshine, they, they, this is, like, 2002, and they'd figured out how to get the graphics to, to emulate rippling water, you know, that kind of right, thing. Right, yeah. Which, obvious, obviously, it's still a texture. Was that like, a texture color. as well? Yeah, it is. In I don't, you know, but, but, in modern games, they don't have that anymore. I mean, they have some 
sort of impressive water physics these days. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, but, but, but yeah, but basically that uh, basically that just consists of. Um, I this might be a bit off topic and all, but basically it just consists of like the water or any f fluid stuff. It's just made yeah. up of a lot of tiny sort of balls that sort of have the same, have sort of similar properties to water in that they sort of tend to stick together, you know what I mean? And morph yeah, a I bit. So, uh, because, you know, a drop of water sort of wants to stick to another drop of water, etc. Um, and then they blend well, together. So they so they do that yeah. with those physics. It's like, it's just like a regular uh, ragdoll physics for a ball in a game, except now there's shitloads of tiny balls and it makes it look like it's, um, you know, that stick together and it makes it look like it's uh, uh, water, basically. I don't want See, to... I, I, always, I, always, I always thought that, like, what they did was they had, when you dived into the water, wherever you, like, started from, there was, like, imagine, like, a square of programmed water, like, around it, and, and wherever you move, that square sort of moved with you, so they didn't have to create, like, an entire like ocean of water they could just create one area and as you moved along it sort of like went that is so that, that uh, that's probably true for the ripple effect um you know because that's a lot of the time that is true for physics in in any case like even if it's not about water the physics properties and like calculations tend to only be triggered after you actually you know, trigger them, you know, by mm. moving into them or whatever. Like, they're not constantly calculating um, what's going on. I mean, one thing that was, like, in uh, Batman, for example, the newer Batman games, uh, there was the mm. thing that, depending on the direction of the wind, uh, the cape was uh, ah, yes, sort of yes. waving a certain direction. So that's something that was, like... You know that those calculations would have to be updated all the time. Yeah, I I, I know that, I know what you're saying. Hair, hair graphics as well. The the hair physics is yeah. the hardest thing well, to get see, right. Well, Tomb Raider here, she's got. Uh, she's actually one of the first to use that. See that her hair actually has sort of ragdoll physics. Mm. Now the good thing about her hair is that it's tied up, so you don't have to yes. put on each individual and the, strand. And the which other, is clever. yeah, that's clever. And the the thing about that too is the only or the first other uh, instance of this type of ragdoll physics um, is in Hitman, the first Hitman game, Code Man Forty Seven, Code Name Forty Seven, sorry, um, mm -hmm. where they had this for. Oh, there's a guy there. They had this for um, um, in a, in a jungle level, where they had uh, what do you call them things that hang, that that Tarzan swings off. Oh, vines. Vines. Yes, they had these hanging vines with the same properties. Ah, oh, yes, yes. I think I, I I've never played that game, but I, I know what you mean. Um, have you ever played? I don't know if you probably haven't, but the the is the WWE like oh, games. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they had the same no matter, hair then. Like, oh, what? Well, it's no, it's funny. Like no matter which one you play, I, I haven't played the later ones, but I've seen graphics of it, and they never get the hair right. It's like the hardest thing because you have to program the hair to react in so many different ways, and it never looks right. Like each individual strand, obviously, you have to program. Uh, well, yeah, uh, they said. Um... In the newest Tomb Raider game, that was actually one of the biggest system hogs because they made her hair quite realistic. Yeah. Um, but it took a lot of CPU power or maybe graphical uh, power. But yeah, that's to... that's true. I think it's um, if, if you play like the, the I mean, WWE it worked games. fine on my system. Uh, yeah. But you know, the WWE games they they just sort of ah. got it close, if not totally right. Um. Anyway, so we're underwater here. Not we're underwater, but we're in Venice here. Um, you know, Johnny, I had a strange dream last night that oh involved you and Venice. Sure, do you want me to tell you the dream I had? Not the band Venice, surely. No, no, the, the place Venice. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I dreamt that you lived in, like, this three-leveled sort of apartment in Venice, and you had, like, this underground, base, this underground basement area, 
that had like water in it, and there was like that boat in that water for some reason. What? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, was, I dreamt that. Well, that's what you Tomb Raider, I... the, the classic Tomb Raider games, does to you, you know? It's, it's so immersive that you just uh, dream about it all the time. I know. I've, I, I wasn't even playing this game. Like, we, we recorded the, the last bit, like, a while ago. And uh, for some reason, like a week later, I'm dreaming of... Oh, uh, yeah, I, I've had that sometimes. I've had dreams, uh, weirdly enough, a week after... Which is a really long time ago. Jeez, that was when I was still living in just the second house that I ever lived in. And I've lived in yeah. about, like, five or something. Um, when I was a wee kid, I saw a Harry Potter film. And then a week later, I was suddenly, like, dreaming of it. And I guess the reason I remembered it is because it was a um, a s sexually tinted dream. Oh. Uh, <laughs> don't want to be don't uh, want to make it awkward here. How old were you though? It you wasn't about like five... uh, oh, just as a disclaimer, I, it wasn't about Harry Potter <laughs> himself. Uh, it was about Ron Weasley. No, it wasn't about any of the dudes, but I don't remember who it was about. I just remember that it it stood out because there was some flavor of of so, yeah. But but yeah, I was a young pubescent boy, oh, okay. so I was about like eleven, twelve, yeah. or something. Ah, I see. Yeah, you know, uh, when I was in Venice, people hung their clothes between the buildings. Actually, they okay. didn't. <laughs> When I was in Venice, I had guys trying to shoot me. No, I didn't. But you know what the weird thing is, though? What? Not the weird thing. Well, there's something about the music in Tomb Raider games, the classic ones, that really freaks me out. It's scary. Yeah. Like, this music is that's it? on in the background now, there's something really fucking creepy about it. I'm going to listen to Look this. Look at this. On... <laughs> did you see that? I did it. You it didn't? Exploded. Oh. I did, I said you fuck. Sorry. Now... I used the ramp, but yeah, that was... Yes. So, yeah, so, now, no, the thing right. about this level is, like... You, you, you don't... It, in Venice, you do Come go on, on a boat out. a bit, sure. But, like, it's not the most economical way of transporting yourself around the city. It's walking is... I hate the, the, the fucking way they shoot you under the water. Uh, yeah, I know, right? That's retarded. I mean, I know they should be able to shoot through water but not like when i'm when i should really be out of reach like that well, this and they have the a violin. huge advantage yeah do you hear that sort of classical yeah that's and it's like it's creepy like, classical what is that like that's like Mozart? the hannibal lecter films oh. you know where he's like a murdering people or eating I, them to yeah maybe to I'm, I'm just I'm, yeah i'm trying to think of another one that had what the hell she just went straight through it um when i'm underwater you know, it stops playing which is weird as well now there was another uh, level in tomb raider which um i wonder if uh, some people will remember this um which was uh, this is where i came from isn't it which was um in her home and i think it was either tomb raider 2 or 3 and well, you could walk into a room, I think it was the dining room, and you could you could flick a switch or press a button or whatever, and sh this music would play that would freak me the fuck out. And it's, just, and it's like this really urgent sound to it, too. Like you're being... It actually gave me goosebumps. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, now there's... There you go. Um, I was going to say, you know how like those guys who shoot you wear masks? This that's a, no, that's a huge no, he doesn't. Well, the other guy did like back before. Did he? That's like a. a that's like that's a yeah, Venice a, thing as well, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Because they have these masked why. balls in Venice and all that. Yeah, they have these shops that sell them. Like mm -hmm. every shop sells masks, and they're shit masks. Every sure. shop sells masks. <laughs> that's not. That's not even hyperbole or anything. Like, oh my god! She... There's so many souvenir shops in Venice. It's What's unreal. Going on? Like the whole city. Oh, this is happening. Come on! That's better. No, I stopped uh, it by pressing the right button. 
the right button. How did I solve this before? I can't recall. Did you unplug the control and plug it back in? No, wait, it's, it's, not, a pl it's not a plug it control. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? What is? The controller. It's a wireless controller. No, it isn't. Oh. But I just remember um, taking it out and it didn't do anything. All right, I had yeah. to take my keyboard out. And put it ah. Well, look, in the meantime, I'm going to tell you about Venice. Now, Venice is a city that oh. simply serves Does not to be exist. It, it, it serves to be a tourist trap. You know, you'll have, like, every single I'll tab person right. trying to sell tourists shit they don't need. Like... Like drugs. Like, like selfie sticks. Everyone's trying to sell you oh, selfie sticks. Oh, fuck selfie sticks. I know, take pictures of yourself. It's, I mean, well, do we need that? Uh, every, why does every fucking thing need to be fucking... On a stick. <laughs> oh, well, I can see the appeal on that. No, but... Wahoo! Uh, wahoo! But, uh, no, why does everything need to be recorded, if you like, rather than being in the moment? Like, it really ruins moments by just thinking of, like... Right, how is this going to look as a memory? Right, so then, like, you, you're only worried about how, it's, how it is going to look as a memory rather than mm. actually have making the memory by doing something nice, you know, in by my being day, in the moment. You, you took the selfie after you did or, you know, you took the photograph after you did whatever it was you're doing. You don't walk around just taking pictures of yourself ad nauseum mm. for no reason. You like you see something like impressive, like oh wow, that's a nice building. You know, oh yeah, of, like a landmark photo. I think I'll take a picture of myself in front of this building. Yeah, then you go in and explore the nice building or something. Maybe like if it's a cathedral or something. Mm. So so I was I was in Not a concentration like a camp in Germany. And people were taking pictures of themselves in this concentration camp in Germany. That's... I can't... Can you believe that? I, I could not believe that. I thought that was, like, one of the most insensitive things ever. Uh, was... Like, I was there, too. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I know what hey, the Jews yes. felt like. <laughs> I don't like the Jews. You get what were they complaining shits. about? <laughs> it's not so bad oh, here. God. This is so fascinating. 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 Like, totally. Hey, guys. I'm in a concentration camp, <laughs> but I have the uh, attention span of a of a rat. S which is, you know, uh -huh. which is ironic because it's called a concentration camp. That's, that, 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 that's the joke. Oh, you were yeah. actually making that joke. Oh, too bad. I was. I was, exactly. I thought that, I that, was that's, that's... doing something completely new. You there. were. As, you were as well. I mean, you, you, come on. You're, you're a go. smart guy, John. You can put two and three. You can put two and two together, can't you? I can put two things together. You can. You can. You can two and the, uh, two and two. I don't know. That's putting four things together. That's getting a bit too yeah. complicated. You you can inflate a luch bed, though, can't you? <laughs> uh -huh. Am I just picking up? No. Ah, oh, fuck you! What are you? What are you doing at the? She moment? just said no. Oh. Ah. Oh. She's disagreeing with you. No. Fuck you. I'm not what? doing that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm on my uh, period. Sorry, guys. So... <laughs> Sorry, gays. Check this out. Are you, are you saying this is a game for homo sexy wells? Did you see it, though? I saw that. Let's focus bird. on what's going on, you know? <laughs> well, let's. That's a good idea because we're in Venice. and uh, have you, You've been to Venice, haven't you? I haven't. Wait, have I? You have, Maybe I, I have. See. You went to Italy, didn't you? I have been to Italy, yes. Well, why would you not go to Venice? If well, you I remember Venice? being in Rome and hating it. You hated Rome? It's an awful city. I actually hated Venice. Not hated Venice, but I, di I didn't really think it was like fantastic. I think Italy is a great place to go on holiday, but the big cities, you should stay away from if you ask me. Um, mm. I the thing I, I like about Italy is like, you know, the more sort of, I don't know, what do you like the less touristy places? Like, just being in great, like we were on a on a um, 
what do you call it? Like, not a campsite, but a place where a lot of people... Like, it's this, like, almost like this... Well, calling it a trailer park would be a bit too knackery. But you know what I mean? Like, like it's like park. a lot of people... Yeah, but they're not actual caravans. It's like a bungalow park or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, like a static home thing or something. Yeah. I don't know... Yeah, it's. Still, I mean, other homes are static usually as well, but. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fine. Fuck so me. it's maybe a static caravan. Well, that's that's those are the type I think that you like, live in as a home instead of taking as a caravan. Yes. So it's a caravan that you don't take. Like it's it's a caravan yeah. that's, you know, in Dutch they actually call it star caravans, which means stand oh. caravans. Uh, you know, caravans that stand still, that they they don't, oh. they're not moving. Yeah, I, I'd probably just call it a static home or something like that. A static caravan. Yeah, but home, I mean, a static home was, you know, it's like a home that doesn't move. But yeah, a lot of houses are homes that are static as well. Yeah, I know, but, but you wouldn't need to call it, you'd just say that's my house. But static home, I suppose. Yeah, I, it, it can be an understood term for it. Now, how do, how do I get up there again? Mm. Oh, wait, I, yeah, I know how to get up there. Just walk up that ramp. Um, mm. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty well on this level. I'm, I'm very happy with your uh, performance so far. That's what she said. Well, hey! Um, <laughs> I think this door just opened up. Yeah, you think? It's the doors are opening for you, aren't they? The doors, LA, California. Uh, the doors. I do Red not like six. the doors that much, which, um... You don't? You don't like Jim Morrison? <laughs> no, I don't like Jim Morrison, actually. I like their music better than I like the people in the band. Because they wow. were too... psychedelic True. and druggy for me. Ah. I do not yeah, like... I, I like... I like band members and people in general to just be sober, you know, have a sober mm. attitude. Even that, if they do use drugs, use like performance enhancing drugs like coke or something like that, something to make you more alert rather than changing your personality or making you rather than downers because I hate downers because they just make you less efficient. They just make you the only reason to take downers is to um, be distracted from life rather than to enhance life. Ah. So that so I, you're I don't you're know why. I'm just, yeah, I'm just going into whole drug. Is this is this why you don't like Pink Floyd? Ah, that is uh, what I. Th it is why I generally tend to not like psychedelic music. Come on, kill him! But Pink Floyd don't do psychedelic Jesus music. Jesus I mean, Christ! At, at, at one point in their career, they did. No, no, but, that was... but that's why Pink Floyd isn't the worst or anything. It's not like, but mm. the doors actually made me throw up a few times, uh, which what? sounds weird. I, uh, I'm not sure if they did it, their music did it, but coincidentally, I threw up about three times while they're, whilst they're, I had a live DVD of theirs playing in the background. Oh. Uh, and I hardly ever throw up. The first time it was when I had taken too much snuff tobacco, which sounds odd, oh. but um, what did I just pick up there? What did I do again in there? Was did I open another gate or something? Maybe pick up you a know, key? I, I ate Chinese I food and that made me throw up once, and I've never eaten Chinese food <laughs> since, and that was, almost, that was almost a year ago. What the hell? I you just, have, wow. Chinese I food is so... Popular, yeah, but I refuse to eat it now because I threw up one time and it just. It, yeah, I but was it was it like real Chinese food or something rather than? No, it was that it was that tourist. shitty Americanized one. You know, you know the one. No, well, because I could, like, I could understand if real Chinese food made you throw up because according to my dad, that's some really dodgy stuff a lot of the time. Yeah, no, I'm I'm talking about like you know like the the sour. Well, sweet and sour pork mm, and the lovely. honey soy. Fuck, that's I, good stuff. I, I used to love it, but, you know, I once threw up in literal, like, you could identify every single piece that was so coming what? out of So what? So you had some bad Chinese food once. You can't condemn all Yeah. The, 
It's not I know that I can't, but... it's because it's... it was Chinese food. It's it's because there was some bacteria in it. I mean, you probably sometimes uh, you know meat that's gone off will make you sick, but you don't swear well, off. But no, meat no one else, no one else, no, no one else threw. You just up make from it. sure it's prepared properly. Now, where the fuck is my boat? Uh, I don't know. All is I it, have to do it, is it, find my boat now. But it's, it's it's not that I condemn it. It's just that it sort it sort of put me off Chinese food. Cause yeah, I'll, but you I refuse to eat it. You say. Well, yeah, but I just I, I refuse to. But at the same time, it's sort of like my stomach. Uh, I kind of rem remember God. throwing up and being in like a lot of. Like I thought, I literally thought my appendix was going to explode that night. Jesus. Well, that was I, just food poisoning. I was in the worst pain of my life. Well. Just, I've had that f uh, a lot. Like, I've. Wait a second. Have I got the key for this door now? Like, because I've actually. It's, it's... I've got. Um, uh, irritable bowel syndrome and all that. Um, and. I've had many days. Oh, yeah, they are wearing the masks. But yeah, I've yeah, had periods where I was. Not periods, but yeah. <laughs> I've had uh, periods of time where I was um, just every day in absolute agony on the toilet without knowing, I mean, I know that sounds disgusting, but without knowing what I could possibly do about it. And actually the pain was so bad that I'd faint, throw up, or like um, wish I was dead. Jesus Christ. Um, and I had that every day, but now, and oh, fuck, I just depleted my shotgun ammo. Um, <laughs> now I just, I just, after years, finally, I f figured out, you know, sort of a, a diet to sort of take care of it. And I've had doctors, you know, because I had diets before that doctors had prescribed and they just made things worse. Yeah. And it was fucked up. And then, but then my mum, of course... She she was too lazy, or she refused to actually cook the stuff according to the diet because she th she thought it was too like. Even though the doctor said, you know, like, oh, he's got like completely inflamed bowels and stuff like that. And you, right? This is the diet. These are the ingredients you can use. Make some. There were even some suggestions about uh, meals that you could make with that, uh, but mm -hmm. she thought it was too much trouble to make a separate meal for me. So. So is that why you even eat though a lot I was grains? a kid, you know, you, is see, that why what? You eat a lot of greens. Oh yeah, that that's one of the things that really helps. Mm. Um, fiber. You know, I, I, fun, you know? fun fact: I can't eat ah. greens. Did you know that? I mean, I, I can eat them. Green, green, but green. I can't. I can't eat like abundance of them. Like I couldn't get like a handful of greens and chew them. I have. I have what they call, because they uh, taste bad. Or no, no, no. I have what they call diverticulitis. This right. could be dangerous for. I mean, that that's that puts you at higher risk of bowel cancer, though. Uh, it does actually. I mean, I don't actually have have it. I have like. <laughs> I don't actually genetic. have bowel cancer. No, no, I have like the the genetics conducive for diverticulitis, basically. Um, my no, grandmother but, uh, has eating like eating not eating an, enough or not eating a lot of fiber puts no, you I at can more eat fiber. risk. I I I, oh, I just okay. can't. I can't eat like whole greens because. Oh, you know, so that's gets... just an allergy. There's nothing wrong. With... I mean, I've I've got. It's not um... an allergy. You know, you know what happens? You eat them, and then there's little polyps in your like intestines that the greens get stuck in and clog up. It's almost your... the same as an allergy, though. It's not really though, because allergies well, like allergies. It's like a uh, an increased. It's an sensitivity, but... yeah, an intolerance or a sensitivity to it. it that, that's pretty much what I think of as an allergy. Like, even if it's not the same process of sensitivity, because, like, yeah. that's why um, I sort of see the fact that, I mean, I've got um, dairy like intolerance. What, what do you call that? Lactose intolerance as well. Um, hey, so does my dad. Ah, oh, fuck. What? Oh, uh, you couldn't do it. Did you see? She died. She, what? How did that she, happen? Because I ran into the... You're trying to land this boat into this thing. You're trying to land this boat into this thing, I believe, aren't you? Obviously yeah, not I'm, I'm, I'm... Fireworks are going... I'm, I'm... Yeah. Yeah, whatever you call that. Um, 
see, now the clock, now the... Fuck! Fuck! She died again. What is going on here? I'm trying to... Right. I pressed this button behind me. Now I'm going to have to... As soon as I go over that ramp, the clock will start... The bell tower will start going. And I've got about... I don't know, like, I've got a, a limited amount of time to get through the door. I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to even... Uh, probably here. Ah, oh, fuck! Did you do it? Well, look, the of it, I'm stuck. Do it. Why are you not... Are you not seeing my screen? I'm seeing your screen. I don't know what way you're trying to well, go, then why actually. are you saying by the sounds of... Oh, ah! Oh, did you see that? Uh, what the I hell did. happened there? <laughs> it speeds you up or something? I don't know. What speeds me up? Well, something just... I don't know. Did, maybe I have no idea what's actually happening. I'm like, I'm seeing it, but I'm not actually processing it. I'm... Right. As soon as I go, uh, go over this ramp, right? The clock will uh -huh. start ticking. And I have to uh -huh. make it in time through those gates behind the mines, oh. which I blew up with the other boat. Oh, I, okay. I get you now. So... I and I'm using control to rev the engine or something. Or not rev it, but like, you know, like, speed up so that I can get over this ramp. Ah. Well, that's so, what the camera check is all about. But then I got stuck here just then. But now I'm speeding up again. But now I've got to turn, so I want to... Right, I think I'm going to make it this time. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you did Venice. Well done, <sighs> Wunderbar. Ick bun, ick bun, bun, oh. Three and a half Ding. health packs used. Not sure how that works, but yeah. Um, actually, I'm not sure how that works because a small med bag counts as a half, I guess. Yeah. Um, right, you murdered so that took... Man, <laughs> 22, eh? Well, the, I think it counts rats and dogs. It counts rats? Probably. Well, okay. It's a kill oh. still, isn't it? Right, let's get to the next level then. Still in fucking Venice. Fuck!